What's up everybody? This is Adam with Adrenaline Cycles. We got another build machine here today to give a good walk around and tell you guys some of the stuff we put on this. But before we get too much into that, let me get you guys to hit that like and subscribe down below. You guys are really doing good. We're getting a lot of views. We want to get that subscriber number up just so everybody can see all the stuff we're doing. So let's talk about the machine now, guys. I got a phone call in January from a company we deal with, High Lifter, as you can see on here. Um, High Lifter is a parent company for Seismic and EPI as well. And they had a event going on here in Louisville in Kentucky and they wanted to, you know, uh, build a machine that, you know, utilizes their parts and put some good focus um, on the machine and their parts and be able to draw some attention when they're at the show and stand out from just every other vendor down the row. So, um, you know, we have a good relationship with High Lifter. Uh, we settled on what we wanted to build. We got on the Defender. This is the very first one we've had. That's the XMR 2023 with the doors. These are OE doors. You order this machine this way. Um, as you see on the inside, they're really, really nice. Basically, this is the lower part of the limited model doors with the power windows in them. They just don't have the upper frame. Uh, super nice. Uh, works really well. Um, so we got this model in. Uh, we spoke to High Lifter and said we'd like to build this machine. They like, sounds great. So we started with the XMR Max with the, the OE doors on there, which is really, really cool. Um, next step was they wanted a big machine, but they wanted something that uh, would highlight their portals. And we wanted that as well, but we also wanted a machine that we could bring back here to the shop and sell and, you know, be a rideable and and be able to be on the trails here in Kentucky, Tennessee, and places like that. So um, we'll start talking about some of the stuff they sent us. First thing, obviously, is the wheel and tire package. These are High Lifter brand wheels. And what you see there is an 18-inch true beadlock with a, what I call a 38 millimeter offset, which is really close to zero uh, or one. It's, it's about the same offset of, as OE wheels. So that's really what we wanted on this to make it be able to get on a trailer still easy. Uh, the tire is a Roctane T4. Uh, High Lifter bought out uh, STI and it's been converting the tires. This tire is a 37, 10, 18 guys. And I will be honest with you, this tire is a big tire, but it's not as heavy as a lot of 35s out there because of the 18 inch rim. They lose some rubber for the rim. So the tire does save some weight. And it's also really, you know, um, you know, typical rock tains, I used to call them hard plastic. Uh, these tires, as Josh can show you here, has got some flex to them. They've really been, since High Lifters had them, uh, working on the compound on these to give it more of a, a flexible um, rubber on the tire so you can get more traction in rock and on hard packs. So that's really, really cool. You know, we was digging on that. It was kind of a surprise because we had a whole different th thought or theme and these tires come in and hey, we rolled with them. They, they turned out really good. Some other things around the front here we'll show you is you see the high lifter arms on here as well as the portals. The portal plates come black. We actually powder coated them, the matching color, the gold color up on top. Uh, the A arms will also come in black. Um, from high lifter we went on ahead and powder coated those in the red too just to give it that oe look um, but they are high lifter as you can see we got high lifter aftermarket ball joints in there as well and really for me guys it's the fit and finish with high lifter with their portals they're set up that you know other manufacturers you know their fit and finish ain't nice uh, with these they give you these clips to hold your brake lines in which is really nice instead of using zip ties. These are all one piece brake line. So you don't have to take and um, banjo bolt it together and extend the OE one. These are all new lines run, all bled out. Works out really, really well. And that's one thing again, it's a little more work in the front, but it makes it a lot better going down the road. So, you, so it's done right basically guys uh, on that. Um, some other things we've done on this, we installed a seismic flip windshield, really easy to utilize here. Um, it's a different design than a lot of other companies. It just, um, 
it uses basically a rod that runs across and that lets go that away and it just locks down instead of having this thing in the middle that you got to pop up and down that wears out and everything else these are latched kind of like a, a topper on like a truck and you just turn it to to latch and unlatch down here really nice design really really cool works out really really good some other things we got from high lifter slash seismic slash epi was the mirrors these are the pursuit mirrors with the led lights underneath them so you'll have that extra light at night when you're going through the trails or you're going through the mud or muck or anything like that these mirrors come with lifetime warranties as well um, i'll turn these lights on here so you guys can kind of see what we're talking about do, do, do. there's one and there should be both um, and that's really handy to have that works out really well um, especially if you do a lot of night riding especially if there's snakes or things you know that can be out on the trail or, or in your area you know you don't want to step on a snake a skunk you know anything, you don't want to step in anything you don't know what's out there and those are really handy to have or if you're night riding trying to figure out where to spot your tire at that's handy to have too um, coming on back here you'll see we did powder coat these are normally black on the XMR Again, we wanted to, you know, just make it a little nicer, stand out a little more than the average XMR Defender. So we powder coated those in the gold color. Um, looks really good. One other thing we did do, we did uh, put a nice audio top. This is a BRP top. Uh, works out really nice. Got JL components in it. Extremely loud. Got uh, color LEDs in it. I mean, it's just really, really nice setup. It's got a power on and off button, so you don't have to worry about running your battery dead or anything else like that. Um, really good setup, uh, plenty loud enough, and uh, it's injection molded, so it's really durable. It'll take a, a lot of abuse, and it's uh, you know going to hold up really well, unlike some of the fiberglass tops out there. So that works out really well. Coming around the back, we'll show you some other things here. In the rear, again, we're talking about these huge, um, you know, just got gigantic, you know, A-arm setup here. Uh, they are adjustable on the bottom, so you get right, the right camber. Um, and these are huge hinds. You know, I know other companies do this as well, and I'm not a big fan. But these are almost twice as big as the hinds that I see on other companies using. And when we locked those in, man, those things, you wasn't worried about them. I mean, we was cranking on them with about a two-foot wrench to tighten that up so it's not going to move, not have any problems. Again, nice brake line clips on here to help hold the lines up where they need to be out of the way and just again not a zip tie a little bit of effort i mean these you know those don't cost a lot of money guys but a lot of other manufacturers don't put the effort or thought into that um, again we'll come on around here all right guys on the inside of the machine um, seismic also has these which is really cool it's a gun toter um, so they sent us this which we're all about you know the second amendment here being able to you know if you want a gun pack a gun all for it you know just be you uh, this one will hold a pistol on either side and they're completely adjustable with straps and everything so you can lock them in and keep them from falling out and secure while you're riding around in the woods same way with these these are all adjustable you can put your gun in there it'll hold it it won't let it bounce around it's secure so you know it's not going to fall down and go off or anything like that um, and this is almost like an injection foam um, it's really um really firm but yet it's got a little bit of give so it's not going to scratch your gun up or anything like that so you can put a wooden gun in here or you know a poly you know frame you know gun pistol whatever you want um, but it's really nice it's rigid but it's soft at the same time i mean i don't know if you can see josh where i'm i mean you can bend it over so it's not you know and it's not hurting it or anything so that's really cool and it's just held in like a car seat it goes through pulls it tight does its thing also another cool thing we like from seismic is the rear view mirror this one is set up to work on the defender style cages and then here you can turn on the light i don't know if you can see it or not uh, here's the outside a red light and it get brighter and then it goes back off so it's pretty cool and it all runs on battery so you don't have to run any wire if you you're not wire savvy this is a really cool thing to have runs on some batteries and it does give you enough light there if you drop your phone in the in the car and your buggy or whatever you can turn that on and see uh, one last thing we'll talk about that i can't show you on here is it does have epi clutch kit and stuff in it uh, we got that from high lifter as well they do own epi so we got a clutch kit and we also got uh, the belt from them and everything in uh, works really well 
uh, really quiet um, before in the past we thought they was a little loud especially on some x3s but they've changed some things on that setup and this thing is super quiet and gauge is really really smooth and even with the portals being on there this thing pulls out doesn't try to get herky-jerky or anything like that with this giant tire i think the portal gearing is 40 percent reduction on these i believe so it's not going to be super super fast but we went with what they recommended which is always good to go by what the manufacturer suggests as far as tire size and this and that and thus far this thing has gotten a lot of um you know great exposure great reviews by people coming in and looking at it we've had it on our uh, facebook and things like that and it's done really well on there and as you can see here it is actually sold we sold this machine uh the customers coming up i think this weekend to get it this is the third weekend in uh february and he's had a deposit on it for about a week or two but he's out of town so he can't get up here to get it right away but this is just one thing we can do guys um like i said it's not super over the top uh, really reasonable i think on this one we's about forty-two thousand. so um i've done some builds in the past that's been way over that closer to the 50 or over 50 for about the same setup um so the high lifter stuff is really priced really competitive and like i said i think the fit and finish uh, we didn't have any issues we didn't have any hiccups um the brake lines went on good bled the system out uh, putting regular gear oil in the portals instead of having to have such and such gear oil and such and such this to put in them by other manufacturers man it just went straight together really easy like i said we've done some powder coat changes um on some of the stuff just to you know fit you know this machine and stand out some of the things to high lifter what we could do um but all in all guys this is a a great machine um like i said the doors are super super nice we haven't talked a whole lot about that on this video josh um but like i said we didn't order any more defenders that didn't have the doors on them for 2023 in the max models nobody in my opinion is going to buy this model without the doors even if you're going to the mud bog to get in the mud you're going to want the doors so um, keep an eye out guys really pay the extra money get the oe doors because they're getting ridiculously high now to buy the all black door from brp and a lot of manufacturers anyway are charging you 1500 bucks or more and you're, you're still not going to get the oe you know gold color to match the front or the back i mean that's a huge seller for me that it, it blends together it lends together really well with the machine and already when you're 25 26 thousand dollars deep or 30 i don't even know what the base price is on these when you're in that deep just pony it up and get the doors it's, it's really worth it like i said we didn't order any more after i seen them with the doors we didn't order any more without it as always guys i appreciate you watching the video especially if you made it to the end because i am long-winded but uh that's about all we got here stay tuned for more videos coming and more exciting news that we'll have as the weather warms up here in east kentucky <laughs>